Hey, Chrislin21 here, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the ban list. Um, a lot of people have been posting up videos about it, saying what's on it. Um, a few people have been talking about it, but I might as well give you uh, my opinion on some of the stuff. Um, so, yeah. I let, Let's just first talk about the ban cards. Bryonic and Future Fusion. A lot of people were hoping for Future Fusion. Um, they were also hoping for quite a few other cards, like Hornet. Um, I know a few people wanted Red Eye Start this Metal Gremlin. Um, and there is Super, super Colonization. Um, then Monster Reborn. Um, and I know I wanted a Feth Bailer Band. Um, why? Because it's just too good of a card. It doesn't really affect too many of the deaths I run. I mean, it'll stall me for a turn for, within my infernities, but my um silent deck. The only reason it would hurt me is because I run in sectors, uh, engine to pop their back row or pop their big boss monster, so I can go in and attack. Um, because that's really the only thing that would hurt. But I mean, I don't run deaths that. In effect failure would hurt too bad. I mean, I just don't. So, but the fact that they banned Bionic tells you one thing they don't want you to synchro summon anymore. I could honestly see um, them making a card just like Bionic for an seed. Make it a, it'll probably be in a, a rank 5, detach 1, pop 2, 2 of theirs, and I think they actually have that for a wind up. The wind up one. Now that I think about it, let me check. Because I think that's a, that is the exact effect. Hey! I'm on Delay Network and I have an ad for Strike Witches. And I actually like that anime. It's pretty good. But, yeah, let's just go shut this out real quick. Because I think that is. Uh, here it is. Once per turn, detach one of its material monster, target two set cards on the field, destroy them. Alright, it's destroy, not bounce. Or pop, or send back to hand. So, I, I, I could see something like that happening. Um, next is future, future Fusion. Doesn't kill Chaos Strike completely, but it makes it slower, less aggressive. But the fact that they sent Red Eye Starkness Metal Dragon to 1 kill, basically kills it, because th they'll be too slow, um, unless there's going to be another variant with it, to where they don't focus on getting out red eye star because you could still um get red eye or er, five head dragon out um by using dragon smear which is basically a miracle fusion for dragons so there's not much else I can say about those two cards I mean it'll probably stop um people from running inheritance and trying to get their stuff some stuff into the grave. Actually I don't think people would want to run inheritance because they want special summon um, in it from the deck. Use its effect. Blah blah blah. Um next let's talk about limited Hornet Dragonfly. Everyone was saying it, um um I talked to T Bird about it and really um that with them having centipede at three will still make um Inzestors a very big threat. If um Hornet and Centipede went to um, if Hornet and Centipede went to one instead of Hornet and Dragonfly, it would basically be like this. Some dragonfly, 
summon centipede by popping it by popping hornet especially some of your centipede then you search out dragonfly then you'll summon your dragonfly next turn and what's your next target maybe a hopper or something but you don't really have any more targets where now it's sent now you could probably you'll probably have centipede centipede um probably have horn in the grave because you had a foolish burial or another card like army at night to send it to the grave and put that to equip it to your centipede pop it add dragonfly to your hand next turn you'll be able to special summon another centipede so I honestly think that's a little bit of a mistake but it doesn't completely kill the deck it'll just slow it down um, which I think is what they wanted to do because they probably wanted to make it into a seed variant more than it, they wanted to have it do what it was doing because they really want to push the seeds <clears throat> ultimate offering I think with this ban list, Konami was thinking ahead a little bit because we're having we're going to have the um gears I think. I, I'm not too sure but it's that new art type coming out that you would play with gadgets that a lot of people would. And I think they wanted to make sure that they weren't going to be overpowered. Um because I know a lot of people are gonna be wanting to play them because they're saying all this stuff like Robbie Cole, I think, was saying earlier that it's, they're really good, they're really nice. Um, I don't know if he was playing Ultimate Offering in them or not, but having Ultimate Offering to one, Konami was thinking ahead. Same with the um, Gishki mo Ritual Monster they had, they were thinking ahead. Gishki's would probably be too dominant, because I think... I think they have like a very good combo. Um, I know I've seen someone like start looping and just doing the same thing over and over again and trying to do something. Spore back. I think the reason they brought Spore back was because Spore takes the level of a monster or it adds level to so you can hit seed with it. That's why I think they brought Spore back. Um, I think that that is the effect. I can't remember 100%. So, once again, let's go on Dilly Network. And what's the ad this time? You like cheap anime? Oh, it's just a save anime. Just a save ad. Spore. And Spore is in this card in the grade. You can banish one. Push some of this card. And increase its level by the level of the banished monster. So, you can seed spam with it a little bit. Even though it can only be used once per duel, um, it's just we, we may see an seed variant of plants um, with a lot of fours and fives. Um, you see a lot of rain four and five that seed monsters um, just spamming the field. Not, it probably wouldn't be too bad of a, a spam. It'll probably just be a fun deck. A lower one that'll be a random deck out of YCS because um, there's not much you could do with it. I mean, Lone Fire could probably make it a lot better if you have level twos in your deck. So it become, Spore becomes level three, it's seed, go off like that. But then you won't get your um, Lone Fire effect and all that stuff. So you probably on um, Lone Fire get a level four plant. Banish Lone Fire since Lone Fire is 3, seed for a 4. Um, that's just like some stuff I'm thinking of like as I'm talking. I mean, I'm not going to say everything on the ban list because you guys already know it. Chaos Sorcerer to 1. I don't really get why they did this. I think they did this because of the new Spellcaster Aster, um, structure deck coming out. I mean, that's why they did it. Because I think they, I think they thought Chaos Sorcerer would have been a little bit too powerful, or too much playable, or something like that. Now let's go to, to well, let's talk about when wind up Zen Mindy first. They wanted to limit the loop. They didn't want to 
stop the loop by banning Hunter. You can still, it, it's not really a loop anymore, it's just a combo. Because you can only do it once, unless you have Pot of, pot of Avarice and you can send all. Read Wind Up Zen Mighty's second effect. That effect is very, very good. Especially if you do it with Rat. I could also see a bunch of variants with Birdman and Wind Up's going off. Um, because they have a lot of threes. Birdman's a three. Use Wind Up Rat's effect. Bounce it to hand after you special summon your shark or something. Special summon um, Birdman. You can either synchro summon or at seed. And if you at seed, Birdman won't be banished. Then we'll also probably be seeing. Um, uh, I can't remember. It was that one with. It was. It was one of the main side deck cards. Uh, I can't remember. And something like a fortress in it. Here we are. Okay, Meritek Fortress. That's what I thought. We're probably seeing that a lot more. Because. It's basically of the new work type coming out. But. Let's see here. I'm at 11. Um, let's quickly just go over a little bit more. Um, Thor Guide. Obvious. Um, Pod Duality. Probably want to slow down the slow down the game a little bit because a few of the duels at Worlds were just like three minutes not very entertaining um I think that's what one thing that they're trying to do is make the game more entertaining so that it becomes more spectator like it was in the anime you you would like at the very beginning you would see that you've seen Reds and Weevil Duel and there's like this big stadium and this big event, all that. But I think they're just trying to slow down the game a little bit. Emergency call. The fact that that's at two is good. Um, takes away heroes' um, searching ability a little bit more, less consistent a little bit. Um, collude to two will help Black Wings a touch, not too much. Um, rescue Rabbit. Um, fact that it's two means the deck is still playable. Won't be as fast or as consistent, but it'll still be playable. The Breeze Dragon. Okay, Agent of Mystery. Um, or yeah, it, it's yeah. Um, at three, Necro Garden Marshmallow Emergency Teleport for Psychids. Psychids are a very good deck. With their fusion, with the psychic fusion, um, at Sun Kicker, um, I think it's a very, very big card. Very, very hard to get around. It stalls out your opponent, making them think, what can I do? Because it is very, very hard to get off the field. Really, the best way to do it is warning or judgment it when it gets off, when they're doing it. That's basically it. And really you can't warn it because it's being summoned by a card. Oh. Uh, it's being summoned by a card. So. A spell card. But I think the ruling is you can negate the spell. But that just gives them an option for it later. So really it's hard to do. Destiny draw swords. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know it. Um, not much else I can say. It's. It's gonna be a fun format. I, I see a lot more people gone coming back to the game with this format, which I think Konami was seeing. 